Ah, oh, come on! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Haunt Ventures with Melissa and Jason. We're going to show you how we built these columns. Answer a couple questions that some of you have left on the last video that we did with um, showing how to build these columns for quarantine's 2012 year at the powerhouse. So first of all, we constructed these by... Well, first we cut out these pieces, these flat pieces with one inch foam. So it's really thick, thick foam. And we did all the brickwork. And in another video, we'll show you how to do that. In some of our previous videos, we showed you how to do some of the brick foam work. But we'll be doing some more de detailed tutorials, start to finish on that stuff. But for today's purpose, we're gonna talk about constructing these. So we put a exact cutout of this one inch styrofoam of plywood and it's just three it's plywood the cheapest you can buy and we did uh, a top and a bottom and we constructed it by putting it together with a nine inch piece of two by two and we basically screwed these two together i'll show you what that looks like right now so here's the raw version of it so it's basically the columns without any foam attached to it. So if we look at how it's built, we basically made it really strong, putting these like about every foot apart, all the way across and all the way down, right, in between, and then all the way around the curve. Now, we wanna do a lot of them around the curve right here because we're gonna attach the foam to get that curve. So the firm foam curves, and we're gonna show you how to do that. So there's two kinds of foam we're using. We're using one inch foam and we're using half inch foam. The one inch foam goes in the flat pieces. The half inch foam is what goes all the way around here and it gives us the ability to, to curve it. Now when we put this on, um, you know, we're using your regular, I think they're inch and a quarter screws and we're screwing the foam right into those brace pieces that were the nine inch pieces that were secured from piece of plywood to piece of plywood and that's what's going to support the foam so but if you just use a screw into foam what happens is this will just pop right out like as soon as you bend it the screw will just pop right out so what you want to do is you want to use a washer the wider the better so put a washer on the screw and then then screw it in you'll find it'll have a better hold when you're doing your uh, curved work even when you're doing the flat stuff, use washers. Now, we didn't hide this, so we're not completely done. This is the priming stage. Um, I would suggest, you know, before you even prime, I think we jumped the gun here a bit. Before you prime, take your um, great stuff, insulation foam, the, the liquid insulation foam that turns hard, and just spray it on top, take a trowel, and then final detail so that you can't see any of these screw holes. That'd be, that would be great. And also, in all the cracks right here too. You wanna to put great, great stuff insulation foam and then, you know, seal the stuff off. That way it looks perfect. Like there's no, no difference between this and real brick. Um, so this is the primer stage, guys. We're not completely done painting this now. We're gonna do the scenic design paint on it. If I can remember, the other question too that was asked was how we're gonna attach both of these columns together so that it makes Obviously they're uh, in two, so it makes it uh, one solid piece. And I was thinking that I would put a piece of plywood right across here, like a nice thick piece of plywood. And as you can see, there's a little lip here, right? All the way around. And do the same thing on this side. Piece of plywood there, so then when we put them together, basically just take the drill from the, uh, from the top and just screw them together. With, uh, so two thick pieces of plywood on here, like I'm talking probably half inch, three quarter inch. Um, we've got scrap stuff around the shop here. And uh, that should really, I think, secure together really well. And then of course, these would be attached to wall panels. Like they're not finished on the sides, because that's where it's gonna be going to a wall panel. So then we'd screw it in from the top on the wall panel. And um, as you can tell too, the backs are not finished because we're cheap. <laughs> like most Hondras, we're cheap. But no, you're going to be walking through it. And the scenic design is in the front and on the side. 
We don't expect people to take a look back. Because that's not the way we flow them through our haunt. But we will finish this to make it look like brick. But we'll just do a paint design on it. And not spend the money on foam. Thanks guys for watching this episode of Haunt Ventures. I'm sorry if I've missed any of the questions that you asked me and Melissa. But uh, if I have, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. And give us some ideas, guys, for tutorials because we're really uh, starting to think about creating some better quality how-to tutorials so that will really teach you guys things. Um, not to say we're the best at it, but we'll definitely give it our best shot. Thanks for watching Haunt Ventures. Appreciate the views. Make sure you subscribe and uh, share this channel with your friends.